Hello! Welcome to sunny Gallon Bray, PEI Canada. I'm your host, Chris Collier. Today we're going to do something with tuna. And you're right, toilet paper tuna, which I first seen somebody do, but I just recently seen Bluefin do it at Mustang 774 and Carolina Chris Outdoors. So, what I have here on the right is chunk white tuna in olive oil with chipotle peppers. Oop. That's what that is. That's where the pure olive oil is. Then I'm going to make an experiment. I'm going to drain the water out of this flaked like tuna in water, add some olive oil and the paper and see what that does. And for uh, a goof, this is uh, flakes of turkey, so some kind of processed lips and assholes. And I'm going to put some, drain it, put some oil in there and see how that works. So, uh, first of all, It's going to take forever. There we go. Drain the tuna. Remember, you might be starving out there. All right, we're all right. We're all right. That was exciting. So, I'm not going to use toilet paper, I'm going to use paper towel. Sue me. Send your letters to Ben Collier. I don't want to tear, I don't want to. Look up in there. I want to soak up that one. Right. And wind just died down perfectly. I don't know if one of that one's going to make it to the oil or not. That one is for sure. Jesus. Careful, kids, when you play with multiple fires. Okay. Get you back here. Put the, put the stand still, you. The tuna that came with the oil is still going strong. The turkey that I put the oil and uh, thing just went out. I lit it, so I might have heated up the other side. This, the flake lake tuna and packed in water. Uh, I'm going to do this test again. I'm going to really squeeze out the olive moisture I can and then try it. Because it was only burning on one side and this side was ice cold. But, we'll see if this got anywhere close to warm. Start in the middle, I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. Warm fish. And on the outside, about the same. But the best parts are this little blackened parts here, <laughs> are brown. Because they have more flavor. Hmm. That was good. I think press out more water or even take the whole thing out. And drain it, do it. Anyway, actually that's... That's really good, actually. <laughs> mm. 
Like you get the char flavor from the paper towel. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but there's juice and oil in there. Hello? Huh? See that? A little bit of goodness. Right there? You weren't sure whether you wanted that or not, did you? It's a long way from uh, barbecue chicken. But, like they say, everything tastes better out in the woods. Or outside. Well, I'm going to let these go, I guess. That's a good spot for that. Duh. Not a drop into me either, I swear, Your Honor. I'm going to let that one go, see what it does. I'm going to throw this in the recycling. Because there's too many sharp cutches there, edges, so you, you leak it out. Leak it out. Who do you think you are, the Wiki Leaks? Oh, I can scrape a little bit of sludge off the sides, though. You like that slide sludge? You like that slide sludge, Ben? I knew you would. So oh, I'm back. You can see that Sam is going. Sam. Tuna. I think I'm gonna try to put this out because I think it's uh getting too hot. Alright, put water in that and boil it. What do you thought? How about actually cooking something in a little tuna can? Like a piece of steak. We can put in there. I'll put a piece of paper towel over that. I don't know if we're getting this or not. And you soak that with your hoil. Under there, of course, it's going to be a, if this works, ladies and gentlemen. And there is no guarantee or promise, but it will. And I lost my train of thought again. Look at this. Down there and do whatever you're. Hey, uh, stop heating up my beer. Okay. So, there's the project. I'll cut the camera and then start it. Again. So, this here is our tuna in olive oil, cooked on toilette. On paper towel with chipotle hot peppers. Really interested to see if it heated up all the way down to the bottom. <laughs> and it did. Of course it did, then, eh? That's not a hair, that's a piece of... Mmm. That's good.
Oop, sorry about that. That's that's been burning for about 30 minutes. And I'd say you almost need to as you can see it's more than hot enough. Even around the rim. Or the edge, I should say. So, hope I'm good. You're eating pretty good, there you been. Hmm? Those almost taste more like chicken. The fire's almost gone out. So the fire's out on the tuna. This is out on this. Almost. I think it's cooked to this end here though. Eric, you want some paper towel? So that looks pretty good too. A little bit of seared edges. And a test. Hmm. It's only warm around here. But up here where the fire was. <laughs> it's honestly warm too. But you can see all the water that's in it. So I gotta get that off before I get some uh, some good hot heat going into there. That's, it worked, but it's gotta be redone, that experiment. This here looks interesting. That's a piece of steak in there. Oil and a teen, uh, paper towel. You might think I'm mad. You're probably right. I wonder if I can take a peek at that, see what's doing to the. Hmm. I believe this will come out black and raw, uh, half a millimeter down. Oh well, we'll let her go. <laughs> you like that saying? We'll let her go? Did you get any uh, yummies? We should have got some hot sauce out here, eh? Right? Or some vinegar. Mm. 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 I'm gonna say we'll take that out, but it's still burning a little. That's not doing much to the overall effect in there. We'll take this, see if we can get this off. Well, it's only paper anyway, but. Sorry. So we can get the, the char off. So it looks pretty good on this side. Brush the chair off. Pretty good on this side, eh? And get it in the sun. How come that's not coming up better than that? I guess it is. Look at the doneness. It is kind of rare on this side, but well done in the middle. Let's check this out. Oh, there we go. Mmm. <laughs> Pretty good. I give it a thumbs up. And my buddy Jamie's here. <laughs>